The inside's a pretty good size. You can fit a lot of things in here. Like wedding guest dress of my dreams. So hopefully this solves the problem. And it's actually the anniversary of Trevor and my first date. <laughs> coffee today is so freaking good something i've actually showed you guys i got a new creamer the caramel macchiato from chobani so i've been doing it combined with the vanilla creamer and frothing it and that's why i put my coffee but oh my god today i did a couple pinches of salt in there with the caramel oh best iced coffee i've made at home hands down but it is currently friday i am in back-to-back -back meetings and there's a mosquito right here why Got it. I'm in back to back meetings all day until I go to Pilates. I just had one that ended a little bit early, so I thought I'd go ahead and kick off the vlog. But I'm so excited. I got a new bag in, and actually, let's go ahead and unbox it right now while I have a little bit of a lull in between all of this work stuff I'm doing. Actually, first, let's let the baby out. He's been napping for about a half hour in here. Hi. Down. Good boy. Stay. release good boy so i've discovered that putting him in there after we get back from the park has been the best approach because he's so tired anyways he usually just wants to like go to sleep sometimes he'll even sleep in there on his own so i've just been getting him to go in there after we get back from the park close the door on him he's like been whining less and less today he didn't even whine at all when i closed the door he just kind of like stared at me and was like okay and then like laid down which is great so he's doing good huh buddy you doing good come here come here hey you oh my god Ooh, yeah. So yeah, he's been doing better and stuff. There's nothing in there, baby. He's trying to play with his snoop, but I don't have it filled. So I'm glad that he's been doing better in there. And then like I've noticed when I fall asleep on the couch down here, before I finally wake up and go upstairs to the bed, I'll notice that he's actually been sleeping just in his kennel on his own, which he used to do like once in a while before, but he's been doing it consistently like almost every night. So I think he's really starting to associate his kennel with his nap area or like a safe place to sleep. But anyways, like I said, I got in a new bag and it is, they put the label right on the seam of this so i'm like how do i open this this is also from dsw they sent my order in two parts so this is the second part of my order and this is like the main reason why i ordered from dsw i just wanted a fresh purse for spring and i saw this one i just thought it was so cute sir he literally just grabbed that whole plastic bag okay it's like the bottega style with the woven leather and this leather is actually surprisingly so soft and buttery a lot of the times when i get in the bottega dupes like this with the woven leather it's like hit or miss on how the leather is going to feel because a lot of the times it's like really stiff and just like doesn't feel really good but this feels very very buttery not quite as buttery as the bottega one as you would expect but still pretty buttery so i think that this will definitely be cute for spring i like the knot right here and i just think that like on the crook of the arm that looks really cute or in the hand Hand, but it does also have a crossbody so that makes it great because it can be dressed up or dressed down so if I want to wear it like on the go running errands and stuff I can convert it to a crossbody and I think that that's just kind of been like the theme of what I've been looking for in my bags lately are like bags that I can convert from like dressy to casual very easily and what's nice about this is that the inside's a pretty good size you can fit a lot of things in here this camera's gonna fit very easily in here and like when I say fit very easily in here for this camera I can take it in and out easily I don't have to arrange in here for it with the coach tabby depending on how much stuff I had in it I kind of had to like arrange it strategically to fit this camera but with this since it's a little bit more freeform and stuff should be easier to get in and out not that I don't love my coach tabby I really really do I just feel like that dark green I won't be wearing as much for spring I'll probably still pull it out in spring a little bit but it really feels like more of like a holiday winter green and I'm ready to move into like spring summer vibes so i wanted to get a bag and actually this might be great to like bring to europe because again i can dress it up dress it down it like can fit a decent amount of things so here it is as a crossbody probably should adjust this up just one notch because i am super duper short oh yeah that's a better height perfect so hits right at my hip easy to grab stuff and then if i wanted to just hold it like this that looks really, really cute. So yeah, I love this. I'll probably go ahead and transfer some stuff over so I can start using this this weekend, but adorable. If you guys are interested in it, obviously I will have it linked in the description below. And it comes in that cream color and then also in a black.
Super exciting development. My dress for our friend's wedding came in. I have a light here, so sorry if it's casting a shadow, but I wanted decent lighting to unbox this. We'll also try it on. So I am a little bit nervous about this. I, according to the size chart, was one size, but then they also have that thing where you can like take a quiz, like enter in your stats, like your height and your weight, and then like you select other brands and like what size you typically are in those other brands, and it tells you your best fit based off of that information. It was different than when I looked at the like actual size chart, so I went with the one that was the quiz, so hopefully this fits, but you guys, this dress, stunning, like, so stunning. Uh, this is the one that the bronze cheese would go in, so I definitely would need to dry clean it and get the wrinkles taken out and everything, and then for sure we'll need to hem it which is fine because we found a dry cleaning place across the street from us that also hems oh also this kind of oh this smells like chemicals Ugh. yeah i'm definitely gonna have them dry clean it but anyways yeah we found a place across the street from us that oh that is strong so they can do that but they also do hem stuff so oh my god i need scissors look at how they did this like, i need to cut through that but this is the dress so it's like a high halter oh my god the smell and then look at this back here fully open back so let me slip into this it actually looks like it's gonna be a good fit i'm fingers crossed but oh my god i can't get over the smell what the hell we got good news and then a few observations first off i don't think i need to hem this at all that is absolutely great news i actually have my shoes right here that i plan to wear so i want to see where the height hits once i slide them on so i will just definitely have to get this dry cleaned because it does really smell of chemicals although who knows maybe if i air it out because the wedding isn't for like a month oh yeah okay this is perfect height wise yeah you guys lower so you guys can see if you are a petite lady just a couple heels and it's like it's like just grazing the floor which is fine so that works oh my god this is so cute love but anyways yeah the wedding isn't for a month so maybe if i just like let it air out it'll be fine and then also the creases and everything will come out but i could always steam them so this may not have to go to the seamstress slash dry cleaners at all which is great because this made me very nervous about this going through the dry cleaner it's like a rhinestone string and even when i was unraveling it because it sticks to itself a couple of tiny rhinestones already came off so if i can avoid having to take it to get dry cleaned i will but this is gorgeous i don't know how i want to do my hair i feel like any hairstyle could work with this down half up like a little low updo situation so not quite sure but the color stunning this back stunning though i will say so because i am petite and i have a shorter torso this is actually supposed to go down to about here but because of where the waist needs to hit me on this dress i have to have it set up a little higher i'm gonna keep like working with it to see if i can get it any lower but the problem is if i do that it pulls this part too long and then you can see the seam here so i may just have to kind of like live with it not going as low as I wanted it to or I guess I could technically try to unzip a little bit of it but then like it might not stay you know and then I could just like tuck the zipper in like that is actually kind of where it should be so yeah maybe I just do that and just tuck the zipper in I'm gonna check this in the mirror oh yeah it looks totally fine if I just tuck it and then maybe I'll just like use some fashion tape or something to keep it where I want it to stay I'm also nervous about driving in this because I feel like this is the material that will just like wrinkle really easily and the venue is like 45-50 minutes away so I'm gonna be driving in this for a little while but I do love it. I feel like I'm having my own 10 ways to lose a guy moment like obsessed obsessed i don't want to take it off by doing a shower but one other thing that i like, think is a little funky about this dress is since it's on a bias cut like this it looks like this is an underwear line right here it is not it's literally 
the bias cut. <laughs> so hopefully nobody thinks that my underwear shine through because that's not it. But love, this is so freaking pretty. Like wedding guest dress of my dreams. So happy Saturday. I just got done with a training session with Leo. He learned recall and then he learned place. She's letting us borrow this place cot so that we can practice until we can get one of our own. But he did good. He was responding very well. He's so tired right now. He just went into his kennel and now he's just chilling in there and I'm just letting him rest because I'm gonna go do donations. We have some stuff that we cleared out when we were putting stuff away for Christmas, like Christmas decor that we don't wanna keep and then also like clearing out stuff to make room for the gifts that we got. And I just like haven't taken it. So I decided since today I have kind of like a free day that I was gonna drop some stuff off. I'm not doing like a closet declutter or anything. I'm gonna do like a spring cleaning and closet declutter and stuff probably in a month or so. But right now this is just for like trinkets and Christmas decor and stuff that we just don't need anymore that I figured we'd give to the donation center. But I decided I'm gonna take him with me so I'm just giving him a little bit of time to like chill and decompress from his training session because we did a lot of work today. And then I wanna get him a pup cup. I was talking with his trainer just about some of like his triggers. He doesn't like to be touched on the neck by strangers and stuff. Like once you get to know him, he's fine. So we always tell our friends, just give him treats. Like the first time you meet him and he's fine. Like he literally, he's so curious about people and he just like wants to go up and say hi. He just doesn't wanna be like touched by a stranger right away, which is fair. But we were talking Talking to her about that and some of like the other things that we've noticed with him like he's scared of glass bottles he used to like fully run away if he saw them now that he's been here for a while and he knows he's safe he like he just kind of like keeps an eye on it doesn't really get too close and then like also cans because like I love sparkling water whenever we open a can we still try to do it out of sight of him but at first when he first got here when we would open a can he'd hear it and like bolt away so it was really sad so we were chatting through some things with her and she was like I'm confident based on his triggers and just some of the things that I seem apprehensive about. She's like, I think he was abused before he got to you guys. So now I'm just like really sad that he went through that because we've actually suspected it, but to actually hear like someone who knows dogs and who works with a lot of dogs with like that kind of history and stuff actually say like, yeah, he's exhibiting a lot of the signs of, you know, a dog who was previously abused. That just makes me so sad because he's just such a good boy and I'm gonna cry. So I'm gonna stop talking about it. But um, yeah, I just wanna, I was like gonna leave him but now it just makes me like want to take him on a car ride and like get him a pup cup and stuff so I'm just letting him rest before I do that but while he rests I'm gonna do a little TikTok shop unboxing I figured I might as well just open this up with you guys while he uh, takes a breather but I think this is mainly stuff for Pilates I'm just kind of like revamping a lot of my like workout stuff as you guys can tell from the last vlog I like put together my new gym bag and stuff so I've just like grabbed a few more new things this first one's a little like sweater cover up for Pilates oh I'm not a fan of this type of material but it's fine it's just for like oh wait no actually this feels better once I got it out I thought it was like that staticky kind of fleece material but it feels a lot better once I actually took it out but just like a little half zip sweater dark gray just throw it on you know over like my Pilates rompers and stuff and I like this one because it has pockets I'm looking for like more cover-ups or like Pilates pieces or just gym pieces in general that have pockets because a lot of the times before the gym is when I take Leo out to the park and then like we do training and stuff like that so I want to have like a pocket to put like my cell phone in and my keys in because the treat pouch that I have for him only fits his like treats and his poop bags and like a hand sanitizer so if I'm not wearing anything with pockets then I end up like also having to hold like my keys and my phone in my hand while I'm also trying to train him. So anyways, looking for more pieces like this that have a little pocket for the activities I do right before the gym or before my workout, I should say. And then, oh, I got another one of like the fitted shaping jackets for pre-Pilates as well. But this time for this one, so this is like that gray one that I have that just kind of like shapes you when you zip it up. But this one, there's a theme here, has pockets. So pockets for my phone, keys, extra treats, whatever for when I train Leo before I go to the gym. And then I got two more of that like little keyhole backless romper because I absolutely loved it. Ooh, this one's a little bit of a different material. I like this. I got it from a different vendor. This one's more of a shaping material than the other one. So I think this one's going to be better, but I got it in a black that has the keyhole in the back. I was hoping that this would come yesterday because I would have loved to have worn this to Pilates yesterday. But I realized I really do prefer to just do like a romper or like some sort of onesie for Pilates. It's just a lot easier and then it's comfortable to be in throughout the day. But I also got it in a blue. You guys can see here what I mean. Like there's actually like tummy shaping in this one as opposed to the other one, it didn't have it. And then there's the scrunch butt and then the keyhole. And then lastly in this order, I think I also have an Amazon order coming in. I'll probably be later after we go to Dunkin' and stuff, but I got another little mini light for my phone and camera. Just 
makes things easier when I'm filming to like have one of these like little lights available. This one's a little bit of a different shape. It's a square and then it has the little stand. Oh, this is batteries. That's fine. We actually have a ton of batteries, so I don't know why I'm complaining, but yeah, just clip it onto the phone. This one's actually like a lot lighter too than not the tiny ones that I get, but the big block one that I have. This one's way lighter, so that's actually kind of nice. So this one will be easier to carry around. I'm collecting these just for like the upcoming trips that I have coming up. I just want to have like a handful of lights that I can bring with me on those kinds of trips. Oh, and then also, I almost forgot, I got in a new tripod for anyone who does content creation. I really like this one because I have a tripod that I really love. Rachel Ottenreath, I think it was, is who I saw it from. And it's kind of like this where it gets like compact like this and then it like slides open. Actually, I'll show you guys. This one is a little cumbersome because you have to like undo this ring here, the little copper ring. You have to unscrew it first. This is the type that I like where it opens up like this but i like this one because when it's folded all the way it's actually smaller than the other one i have so you can actually use this as a handheld one the other one that i have i think is about like this tall and it's just too much for like using it handheld this one i feel like is a good size for transitioning between handheld and actually like fully open so this one actually gets pretty tall it's five feet because it's just a smidge taller than me i'm 4 11 i'm like let me pat my hair down yeah so it's about five feet, but yeah, it gets really, really tall, which is great against how small it can get. So I really like this. This one will probably become my go-to tripod, but anyways, okay. I'm going to start gathering Leo and then I've got the donation stuff right here. It's that bag. And then there's like a couple of small things that I need to grab. I'm going to gather everything up and then we'll head to the donation center. I've got the puppy in tow. Where is he? Better view of him. He's enjoying some time out the window before we get on the freeway. Have you up for anyone who's new? The seatbelt goes through his harness, so he can't go anywhere. So that's why he's allowed to do that. Okay, he finished his pup cup. I'm just gonna sanitize my hands really quick. Also too, because I got food, it took like a minute to get like the food together. So they gave me like my drink right away, but this like impatient woman and her Porsche behind me after I got my drink, because obviously I had to sit there for like a minute for them to finish up my food. She started like honking at me. I'm like, I'm still waiting on my order, relax. But anyways, I got my regular coffee. It's the blueberry coffee. It's a medium iced coffee with almond milk, two sugars and the blueberry flavoring. It's really, really good. I know blueberry coffee sounds odd, but trust and then i got myself the ham and cheese croissant from them i think starbucks is, is better that is like one of the things that i like better from starbucks but there's is pretty good i also got plain snack and bacon this is to share with leo this is a lot so i'm gonna have some of it I'm mostly gonna use it for training with leo a little bit later and then i also got some hash browns so just a little quick light lunch and now i need to head back to get to work i let leo back in really quick but look at this you guys yeah We've, uh, we've got mail, so I guess before I start filming, I'll do an unboxing, which is great, because I didn't realize Shaper Mint was going to send me more stuff. That's actually what I'm about to film, so good thing I didn't start on that. Look at you. You're so good just waiting right there. Thank you. Good boy. So we've got a massive unboxing. Some of this is PR. Some of this is actually, like, stuff I ordered from, like, Amazon and stuff. The Shaper Mint one, I'm about to film this video, so I'm not going to unbox it in this. Okay, first off, looks like I got some Pixie PR, so let's see what this is. Ooh, yellow. It looks like we're getting into spring vibes here. So this is their wake up and glow pr box this has another one of their toning mists this is the vitamin wake up mist with orange blossom and citrus extracts for an energizing facial water Ooh, that's kind of nice i kind of want to spray this one on hi can i help you there's stuff in here for you a lot of this is yours buddy because you haven't had enough treats today between training yeah and then your pup cup you clearly haven't gotten enough stuff watch out i'm gonna spray this on my face okay well you stay there Ooh, that's refreshing. That feels really nice. Oh, and that citrus scent smells really, really good too. Oh, what a good boy, good place. Oh, we're learning with the place cut. Yeah. They also sent me a vitamin C sheet mask. 
It's an energizing face mask. I'm not a big sheet mask person, so I'll probably save this for next time I give away some PR. And then also their under eye brightener. You guys know I love a good under eye brightener. So I'm interested in this. This one might be good to bring on vacation if it's got a peach tint to it. Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. I'll probably put this in my little travel toiletry bag so that I don't have to bring my Replenix when I travel. So that'll be good. Awesome. That's a great PR kit. Very excited about it. I also got in a package from Merit. I'll probably use this in the next vlog because Trevor and I are going to a banquet, but they sent me their new signature lip. It's a lightweight, soft matte lipstick that feels like nothing on the lips. So we'll try this out when I get ready for that banquet, but they sent me two colors. The first one is Classic. Also too, I love the packaging of their lipsticks. I think it's so pretty. So Classic looks like just like a good pinky nude. Very pretty. Also, I'm so sorry about the sun right now. It is just hitting in the wrong spot here. And then the other color they sent me is Power. Ooh, this one's like a red. Maybe I'll do this one for the banquet. It's like a neutral classic red. Very, very pretty. So you guys will see me use these in the next vlog. And then I don't know what this one is. This is from, it says it's from Jane. Did I order this? This is more stuff from Shaper Mint. Okay, so here's a sneak peek. It's their Shaper Mint Essentials Smoothing Comfort Wireless Bra. I love a good wireless bra, but they're releasing their new spring colors. So this one is one of the pink colors. They also have a couple other spring colors that I know that they sent me that are probably in that other box that are really cute. So I'm excited to show that to you guys. But anyways, let's unbox Amazon stuff. Uh, your new treats are in here, bud. Oh my goodness, and we knew. We immediately knew, sir. Do you smell the bully sticks? Yeah. Oh wait, no, the bully sticks aren't in here. Oh, but I'm excited for this for training. This is the Pure Bites freeze dried cheese. Leo loves cheese. It says high value treat, but it's not always like feasible to bring <laughs> cheese out when I'm training because it like melts and stuff if it's like hot. So this is freeze dried cheese. I feel like you'll like this. I don't know why we're testing it. Sit. Look. Yes. That yummers. Ooh, we're a fan. So this is definitely gonna be very good. If your dog loves cheese and it's like a high value treat for them when they're training, try those so you don't have to carry around actual cheese with you. And then I also just got him these. These are braided cod skin roll sticks for dogs. Why don't you give him one? Since you're on the place cot. Look at that, those are thick. You are looking like you've never had training a day in your life right now. What's happening? Place. Uh-uh. Yes. No, 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 no. Okay, well, at least you started it on there. I was trying to get him to eat it on the cot, but it's fine, fine. And the uh, Amazon box number two, more stuff for Leo. A couple things for me though. So we're gonna get out of the dog stuff in a second. But I got a refill of his duck necks. I put this in his dinner sometimes. Those are raw meaty bones, but they're just freeze dried, but they clean his teeth. So that's why I give him that. And then I also got him a new leash. This one is a reflective one because the one that is reflective that I use with him at night, it's a bungee leash, which really I'm honestly not a big fan of because it's hard to train on a bungee leash because it's giving too much slack. So I got him a new leash. It has two reflective strips running down it and the reason why I usually do the bungee leash besides the fact that it's reflective is because it can clip onto like my treat pouch belt so to fix that I got two carabiners so I can fasten this leash to my belt and I'm not like hindered by that anymore so oh these are big and meaty so that's what they look like these are good they're not gonna snap these ones are heavy duty and these ones shouldn't break and then for me I got a new workout set I saw Mary Skinner I believe wearing this and I thought this would be so cute for Pilates. So this is the top, it's like a bra top, but the back is like, when you put it on, I don't think you guys can see it here. I'll put a picture on the screen of it, but it's a low U in the back, which I thought was so cute. We all know I am a low back girly. And then I also got the matching leggings with it. As you guys can tell, I'm very, very much outfitting myself for Pilates. So yeah, for Pilates, matching sets or the like rompers, onesies, jumpsuits, whatever you wanna call them. Just like the one pieces in general. Wow, it is bright. Last thing that I got are these Sony headphones. These are wired headphones, they are not wireless. Sorry guys, I could not stand that any longer. I know that this is too 
tall, but this is just the last item. So anyways, I got wired headphones. The reason why I got this is because I saw a TikTok of this girl talking about how she too gets eczema in her ear canal. And her dermatologist said she's probably allergic to nickel and there's probably nickel in earbuds and stuff or just like some type of similar metal in that. So that made sense to me because it's a lot of the times it's flaring up after I've been wearing my earbuds and I am absolutely allergic to nickel and other like lower grade metals because I got... I don't know if you guys remember, it was like a few months back, I got a smartwatch and it just left like a nasty rash around my wrist when I ended up sweating with it. So I'm pretty positive it's my earbuds for like when I'm editing that's causing the eczema inside of my ears. I've been wearing them less the last few days and the eczema has cleared up, so I'm pretty sure that's the culprit. So I decided to get myself wired headphones because when I'm editing, I need to be wired into the computer. If I try to edit with wireless headphones, there's a slight delay in the sound against what I'm editing. So I was looking for headphones that had this so that way it doesn't have to go into my ear canal. I look like a gamer, but that's fine. But I can still edit and hear the clips on time and stuff, so yeah. Very excited about this. Hopefully this means that'll be the end of my ear canal eczema saga because we are almost out of the eczema cream for it. So hopefully this solves the problem. <laughs> It's later. I have been filming for forever and a day. I filmed my entire sunglasses collection and it just took so long. My camera overheated and like died in the middle of it so I had to wait for a while but we're done. I'm uploading the footage right now because I'm actually gonna post it tomorrow so I'm just gonna be like editing away tonight. Also too this is the new light that's on it and when I first put the batteries in I was actually kind of concerned that this light wasn't gonna be bright enough but she's bright so I don't know why I doubted it but anyways it kind of works out that I have like a lot to edit tonight because Leo and I are officially having a night to ourselves. Trevor is working this weekend in San Bernardino which is like two hours from us so he went up there today and then he has to be back there tomorrow. So he and his co-worker have decided to just get a hotel room together up there and I've been teasing them. I'm like have fun on your boys slumber party. So yeah Trevor is up there for the night so it's just Leo and I tonight. So lots of editing but Trevor did mention a little while back that he was thinking of just staying there this weekend. So actually that's what I had bought that Trader Joe's pesto pizza for. I was like oh if he decides to stay in San Bernardino for a night I can have like a night to myself, have my favorite pizza, edit, take a gummy, you know, just have a real me night. So that is what we're gonna do. Leo and I are gonna party it up homebody style but I'm just getting all of this footage loaded and compressed and then I'll probably start on the pizza in a few minutes oh my god you guys this pizza <laughs> wow she looks gorgeous I definitely need to let this cool for a second I always add some Kalamata olives to this I don't know why but I really like Kalamata olives on this pizza but this looks and smells incredible I'm so excited for this Oh yeah, this could all be over, we're not okay, shattered glass everywhere, tears of rage, waiting for the rain to stop, and take my pain away, why'd you have to be that mean, why'd you do me that way, we should know that we won't be any better, can't you see that Hello there you guys. I am just getting ready a little bit early. Trevor and I have a date night tonight when he gets back from work. Right now I'm just taking a second to spray my setting spray. And while it's still wet, I'm gonna work in my contour. I've been trying to be better about spraying in between each step because actually setting spray different than finishing spray, look at what's on your bottle, is actually meant to be used throughout your makeup process and a lot of people tend to use it as finishing spray which totally makes sense. That's like what I used to do and then also what I do when I'm getting lazy but right now I'm like let me practice spraying in between each step just to figure out like the best routine for my skin. That way when I go to do my makeup for our friend's wedding or like a few other things I've got coming up this year, I can make my makeup last like as long as possible. So I'm trying that out, seeing if that really does help and make a huge difference. But tonight is another new restaurant date night and it's actually the anniversary of Trevor and my first date and also the first day that we met in person. For those of you who haven't heard the story before, quick cliff notes, Trevor and I met on MySpace. He added me because he said he thought he knew me from somewhere and we just got to chatting and then decided to meet up and go on a first date this day 
oh my god what is this 15 years ago 16 years ago something like that it's been a long time y'all we don't like do anything elaborate for this anniversary this used to be like our big anniversary before we got married obviously but we still do like to go out to dinner or something again not anything really really big but just a little something to like commemorate the day so i'm getting ready for that but just doing it a little bit early i want to see if i can get one more video in before Trevor gets home for dinner. Basically, once he gets here, we have to kind of like bolt out the door. So he's gonna be getting home like with enough time to drop his stuff off in the house and then like change really quickly and then like go straight to dinner. Poor Leo is gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> this was actually the first night that Trevor's been gone and I've been home. And Trevor said when I was at the bachelorette party, Leo was very confused because obviously I spent all day with Leo. So Leo was like confused. He was looking for me and all that stuff. But Trevor was like, has he been looking for me today? And I'm like, he didn't really look for you until this morning like this morning was when Leo really noticed it because like last night I don't think it really registered to him but today when he got up because usually Trevor takes him on his early morning walk he kind of like looked around and he was like wait where is dad so it took a little longer for it to register with him for Trevor being gone also, I know that this blush just went like out of control, but we know me. Blush is gonna fade super fast on me. I'm also gonna go over everything with my powder, so bear with me here. Trust the process. I look like a tomato. <laughs> but yeah, today Leo's just like confused. He's just like, where is that guy? Versus I guess when I was gone, he was like constantly like looking at the door, like waiting for me to get home, which makes me so sad. I have no idea how I'm gonna fare on our big trip this year. I'm gonna have like such separation anxiety from him. I don't like the thought of being gone that long. Okay, there we go. See, we toned it down. Actually gonna do another layer on top with just a little bit of powder, just to rebrighten. perfect. But anyways, like I said, we're going to Yuzu Sushi, which is a sushi place that's actually very near us. So it kind of works out that I picked this place this time. Originally, we were gonna go to Set at the Pendry here in Newport Beach, but when I went to make the reservation apparently you need a book like a month out if you want to eat at the pendry like on a weekend so i didn't make it in time so that's why we switched to yuzu sushi but again that's probably better since like trevor is coming home like down to the wire here so it'll be easier for us to just like literally drive less than 10 minutes down the road than trying to get like all the way to fashion island which isn't that far in general but it does take like a little bit more time to get to so i was actually planning on saving set at the pendry for our wedding anniversary in july not entirely positive about that most likely yes unless we like decide to go somewhere else like if we find somewhere online that looks better or decide that we just like want to go eat at our wedding venue that day but either way at some point we'll get to set at the pendry i am gonna put on one of my lip stains so i won't be able to talk while it dries but first i'm gonna exfoliate my lips really quick i got this lip exfoliator from elf and i like it a lot it definitely helps to give me like a smooth their lip before I put on the stains. The only thing is you have to make sure to like wipe this completely off before you go in with the stains because if the balm of this is still on your lips, the stain isn't gonna stick. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Wonder Skin, which by the way, I'm gonna get more of the colors of this because I really like the stain a lot. And the shade that I currently have is Whimsical. Also, I'm so confused by this lip stain because like online it says that it's supposed to peel off, but I've never actually like seen it peel off. Every single time I apply it, then let it dry, it doesn't peel, it needs to be wiped off. So I have no idea how people are getting it to peel off, but either way it works. I look like I'm about to be an extra for Xenon, but I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and film. I'll show you guys the finished look in my outfit in a little bit. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this camera's getting pissed at me because I just filmed a video that took so much effort on it, plus a couple TikToks. So we're just gonna do a really quick outfit check so I can let the camera rest. But here is my outfit for tonight. This top is from Naked and I haven't worn it yet because I've been having a problem trying to find the right undergarments for it because like this top is so thin. It's a very thin ribbed fabric, but it's so thin that I don't wanna go braless in this. But any bra that I wore was showing because this neckline is so wide. So actually this bra is from the Shaper Mint package that I got yesterday. The video for this try on will be coming soon. But they sent me their bandeaus for the first time and the bandeau has been like the perfect thing to go underneath this top. I'm so excited that I actually get to finally wear this top because I've had it for months and like I haven't been able to figure out how to wear it. But this looks really good. I'm very happy with it. Jeans are my Levi's boot cut. And then I'm wearing the shoes that I'm going to wear for the wedding. Those DSW ones that I unboxed. Figured I might as well just go ahead and start breaking them in. And then I have my new little spring purse. We're definitely doing spring transition vibes right now. So I'm starting to work in some of those lighter pieces. But it is still a little bit cold. So I have my Princess Polly Goldsmith jacket and chocolate over top. But that is the date night look for tonight. Trevor actually is calling me right now. Oh shoot, he's here. Smoke spirals off your cigarette 
Aha, door slam to figure silhouettes. Is this over? Is this over? Is this over? Okay, back home and in PJs, and then I've got my little snuggle buddy over here. Dinner was really good, at least from my perspective. The sake that we got was really, really good, and it was also a really good deal. I took so many pictures of the bottle, but basically all of the sakis that were there for like a 300 milliliter bottle, it was about like 20 bucks, but for the one that we got, which was 720 milliliters, so over double the size of the small one, it was 30 bucks. So we were like, oh yeah, let's get this one. And it was really, really good. So, so smooth. Also, like the vibes inside of there, I feel like they did a lot with the space and you can tell that they like definitely paid attention to the finishes But I feel like there were opportunities to have done a little bit more But it was still pretty nice inside and then my soft shell crab was pretty good But that roll that I had it was the sakura roll. I think oh my god That is top three one of the best sushi rolls i've had here in orange county possibly ever just because i'm very very picky when it comes to rolls I don't like fake crab imitation crab whatever you want to call it. I don't like anything spicy I don't like mayo so no like spicy tuna or like anything that's like made in mayo i don't like avocado so actually on my roll i asked them to substitute in cucumbers instead of avocado because the roll i got usually gets avocado but it was amazing with the cucumbers the cucumbers gave it like the perfect little crunch and then i also don't like seaweed so yeah very very picky when it comes to rolls but that roll the sakura roll was freaking amazing it had bluefin tuna i know there was yellow tail on top i can't remember what else was inside but it was all super super good and it came with like a yuzu truffle truffle sauce and when they first set it down for me the truffle hit me and I was like oh my god this is gonna be too truffly but it's just like the initial smell of it and then it like dissipates and then when I actually had the roll the truffle was actually very light it was like the perfect amount so I will basically be dreaming about that roll but yeah we liked it Trevor said that his food was okay he got the lollipop roll which the presentation on that was absolutely beautiful and he said that that one was good and then he also got a spicy tuna roll which he said it was good not anything like spectacular but it was still really good but I feel like the quality there was really good I really enjoyed everything everything that I had I just feel like I was telling Trevor like I would love to pick up this role like as takeout sometimes but I don't know if I like am dying to go back there to dine like I'm down to I, I wouldn't say no if someone wanted to go eat there but I think that that's gonna be like a go-to takeout sushi place for me and it's like across the street from the Trader Joe's that I normally go to so I could totally see myself going to Trader Joe's then picking up my roll and then heading back home so yeah I personally really enjoyed that spot would go back mainly for takeout but again wouldn't be opposed to eating there if someone wanted to go eat there i think as far as like the sushi restaurants go in our area i still say roku and nobu rank number one for me and i put both of those at number one just because nobu's so expensive and it's like a specific experience that i feel like to rank all other sushi places against it is kind of heavy-handed so that's why i give it a number one ranking but it's not something like if we were gonna say like oh let's go get sushi we want to get like nice sushi but we don't want to spend an arm and a leg we're not going to consider nobu nobu takes planning to go to on our end just because it's just like i said it's stupid expensive once you like add up a full dinner there but anyways yeah i would still say sushi roku and nobu sushi roku just has my favorite roll that i've ever had in my life it's the white lotus roll oh my god you guys it's absolutely incredible i got it on my birthday it's shrimp tempura inside with asparagus and then soy paper and then on the top is yellowtail and then fried green onion and then a truffle soy sauce on top just perfection that roll like you can't beat it for me and then number two i would still definitely say is buddha's favorite i love buddha's favorite just the quality that you get for the price that you get is amazing and then also like the location of it it's literally on the water again for like the price of the sushi and for it being a sushi restaurant on the water it's really really well priced so that one's definitely number two for me i would say that that one's probably like my most go-to sushi place if someone were to come in this area and say hey i want to go get sushi with you in like the newport beach costa mesa area my first suggestion would be buddha's favorite just because of that value just the bang for your buck and the vibes of it and then i don't know i think yuzu may actually rank the just because I do like that roll a lot. So basically Trevor and I have our pick of really good sushi restaurants that we love in this area. But anyways, okay, I just like went on like a five minute rant about sushi in the Newport Beach area. So I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us this weekend or actually mainly just with me this weekend. It was a mellow weekend because Trevor was gone and Leo and I just got to have some mommy and me time since I was gone last weekend. So that was definitely nice. But anyways, I'm gonna turn in for the night. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.